Junior, this Saturday we'll see us face one of your old teams, QPR at home. How have the preparations gone this week in training? Yeah, it's good to get a full week of training under our belt. Uh, the energy's been high, especially after the win against Watford. Uh, and the uh, intensity in training has been good, so if we could uh, bring that into this weekend's fixture and nullify them and uh, play to our strengths, we'll be fine. Your last season there was in 2013, and a notable name from that side was Joe Lumley as well. When coming up against one of your old sides, do you possibly have an extra incentive to go out and get a positive result? Yeah, of course. Uh, when you're playing against your, your old team, you always want to get one on them and get the win, especially after the loss and, and early on in the season at their place. So, uh, of course, every time you play against your old team, personally, you want to get the win and uh, into it gives you extra incentive to go out there and uh, try to get the bragging points. Touching on that, uh, you scored against the previous club this season, Blackburn Rovers, back in August. Hopefully you can see a similar scenario again this Saturday. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good to score against your old team, of course. It's, uh, it's one that everybody wishes to do, score against their old team. And uh, Last time I scored against Blackburn, I did a celebration. Uh, <laughs> this time, we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> do you want to tell us about the celebration, what the meaning behind it? Yeah, of course. Um, when my well, when my son was little as a baby, he used to do that, and he used to dance with that. So I just invited him and it's dedicated to my son. Brilliant. <laughs> and then touching on our home form this season, uh, our record sort of speaks for itself. It sort of really does give us a good platform to start from as soon as the first whistle sort of goes. Yeah, uh, our fans been our extra man at home, and they give us that extra booth going into our home matches. Uh, we've been strong all season, and we could. Uh, bring that into the rest of this, rest of the game, for the rest of the season. Uh, put us in a good opportunity to go out and uh, get into player position. We just have to remain strong, stick to the manager's tactics, and uh, go out there and play like we always been playing at home. About your versatility as well. Playing sort of as a wing back this season, but have done on either side. It's a role that you took to naturally, and also look more than comfortable in. How are you finding it? Yeah, of course. Uh, each game, I uh, get more comfortable and better playing in that position. Uh, at the beginning of the season, if you told me I was going to play that all season, I would <laughs> I would have never thought. But yeah, we've been doing good there. And uh, the most important, we've been getting good results. Uh, the managers put the team in, set the team up to go out there and win games. And uh, everybody, when you're playing with players that's comfortable and give you extra confidence going out there, it makes your job easier, so yeah, I'm enjoying, enjoying playing as a wing-back this season. <laughs> Another wing-back in the squad, Kelvin Abrefa, he's goal against Watford from the weekend. Is that something you might have told him about in training and practice? And as a fellow wing-back yourself now, maybe having one on the keeper just before you put a cross in the <laughs> Boy, I don't know if that was a cross or a shot, but <laughs> I'm sure he was delighted with it and uh, happy for him. Uh, he just has to keep continuing. He's been... Uh, been doing good ever since preseason. Uh, it's a bright pro uh, prospect for us, and if he could uh, remain focused and keep working on his game, be play at the highest level. And lastly, Junior, it's our first championship game in 2023 at home. How pleasing will it be to get back in front of the Roars fans and hearing them in full voice? Yeah, of course. Uh, they've been magnificent. Like I said, they've been our extra, our extra, extra man and extra boost on the on the field. So. Uh, we got to get back out there first uh, league game in 2023 and get the win will be perfect.